Hey gang, FL Hux Beer Reviews, back with another episode of As the Beer Swirls. My name's Dan. My name is Mike. Dan, this looks like a Stephen beer. Is that what we're drinking? I'll tell you what, it is a Stephen beer. All right. Beer Tuber Palooza hooked us up with a sweet, sweet box of beer mail. Don't mind the fans in the background. Yeah. We got an audience. Yes. Yeah. Uh, it's so, only a matter of time. Anyways, this is from the New England Brewing Co. This is their Weiss Trash Berry. It's a Weiss Trash. Weiss Trash. Weiss. Uh, you know, Weiss City's coming back out. Your master. That's why. Uh, yeah. German style tart wheat ale with fruit. 12 fluid ounces, 3.4 ABV. This might be a goddamn chugger. It might be. It might be. Uh, so, New England Beer Company, I'm going to say they're probably from New England. Mexico? Woodbridge, Connecticut. Oh, never mind. <laughs> from where they're from. All right. Yeah, okay. How about that? So, yeah. Uh, When's this can down? It says, you boys like Mexico. <laughs> yeah. That's uh, awesome. 4621. Four, <laughs> On the back, it's got some nice stuff right there. Well, god dang. Mean. Froned. Froned. <laughs> This here is a down-home traditional Berliner Weiss style beer that's sourced with lactobacillus. Then we tossed in our arse load of raspberries for a tight fruit forward taste. You hear? Low alcohol and a fresh finish, making a perfect drinking outside of a warm wagon on a hot summer night with three-legged ham. Prost, y'all. Now you get out of here. Yeah! Woo! We about to end and hit the road! Oh, hey Oh, it's, only really oh it's a foamer. <laughs> it's a foamer. <laughs> That's the age on it. Now, I want to make it very clear. I'm not trying to make fun of everybody, because that's how they pronounce every word. Yeah, I, I can see that. That's insane. This is a fun... It's a fun can. Yeah. Oh, it's a Did fun. you get enough? In case you need a little more, there's... I, you know what? I forgot it was a 12-ounce can. <laughs> Sue me. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, we can sip out of the same cup. We'll that's share. Cool. That's cool. It looks like uh, I don't know about look. My head is like, like conclave, just like, yeah. just like bubbly. I've got the remnants. You know what it is? It looks like the inside of like a Neapolitan pizza crust. Like you cut into it, fresh out of the oven, oh, it's got all yeah. the bubbles yeah, in it. Okay, I give it that. Yeah. Other than that, it looks like grapefruit juice. It does. Mine does at least. Yours is a little brighter than mine. Mine's a little more dull, but so yeah, it looks looks like grapefruit juice, but. Or like a, a, a fresh raspberry lemonade or something. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Looks good. Yeah, let's get a whiff of it. Oh, that's a tart ale all day. No, yeah, you can you can you can smell the salinity of it. <sighs> yeah, yeah, the carbonic acid. Some might say. <laughs> oh, we don't go there on this channel. Uh, no uh, salinity, but you can smell the the raspberry, the fruit. Yeah. And it's there. It's kind of, it, it's faint. It's very tart. Not not puckeringly tart, mm. but it's making my mouth water. It's a very clean, crisp kind of scent. It is crisp, yeah. Um, it, it's not like a, a muddled raspberry or a sugar raspberry. I would say more almost like that raspberry lemonade. If you added yeah. you know, some raspberries to the lemonade, get that hint of raspberry. I'll give you that. Yeah, I think it's spot yeah. on. So, yeah, give it a try. Cheers, buddy. Cheers. Thanks, Steven. She's a salty one, I think. Yeah, a little bit. Maybe my palate isn't ready for it. No, there's a little salt to it. That's uh, yeah, that's not as mouth puckering as I I thought it was gonna be. I don't know if maybe it's falling off a little bit, but it's, no. It's, I mean, it's good. It's good, actually. I was worried about with these kind of tart ales. Mm -hmm. For me, instantaneously, I get like that acidic, just like clench down in your jaws. Yeah, and that's, you know I mean? that is not apparent in it, this beer. It, um, I get it a little bit, and then it, it goes. I'm, I'm okay. good. I'm good. It's it's a little dry on the finish. Which isn't bad. I mean, I'm okay with it. I'm okay with that dryness because it cuts that salinity in half. Yes, it does. Because it, it is, you have that, the raspberry is just... 
I don't want more raspberry. I don't want less raspberry. I think they got it dialed in. I was going to say, I think it's subtle and it's right where it needs to be. Um, but you, I think you were right. This is a chugger. Like, I want to slam this. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's, it, you want to slam it. Yeah. So it's like almost as if, you know, you probably should. All right. What are we rating it? It's gone. Um, <coughs> I'll give it a, excuse me. I'll give it a 325. It's okay. No, yeah. You know what? Middle of the road. Yeah. Well, let's give it a, a, a C plus, if you will. Ooh. Ooh. All right. Breaking out letter grades. Oh, yeah. Letter grades. 3.5. C plus. Another one in the books. In the books. In the books. <laughs> Just so you get. Uh, I just want the people to know, Mike. It's in the books. You want me to know if we did or did not rinse these glasses out in the last one? Mm. Mm, probably not. Okay. Uh, down in the description below, <laughs> fun taps, Twitters, Instagrams, all the good stuff. Come look us up. We'll look you up. You know, it, it works both ways. Uh, hey, we would cheers you, but we already... I got a little bit left. Thanks again, Stephen, yeah. for the beer mail. Thanks, man. We appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Cheers.